102 today, but I love that 92 that you teased us about earlier in the show. Yeah, it's like it's only 48 hours away, and it feels like Christmas is around the corner. This is time lapse, Karen, uh, from this morning. I wanted to show you the high cloud cover that you'll be seeing for the rest of the day. And this starts in the morning and goes on till the current image. And you can see the high cloud streaming in from the south. Uh, that's from the rain in Texas, but it's rained down in South Texas, the Big Bend area. In fact, has flash flood warnings out. Uh, we've got that system down that came out of the Gulf spinning around down there. It's not going to affect us other than the cloud cover. We're going to have to look north for some rain chances, and that's tomorrow. Today will be dry. Pollen counts will be somewhere between that medium count for the next couple of days before they, too, drop, uh, thanks to this change of weather. And the first alert weather team wants to remind you the high ozone counts will start to show up this afternoon. And if your lungs are sensitive to such a thing, please stay indoors when those counts are the highest. All right, here's a three-day forecast, and it shows the drop in temperatures. We're going to have to wait. It's going to be in that 100-degree range today and tomorrow. But tomorrow, that's a 20% chance for an afternoon thunderstorm that increases that chance of rain does tomorrow night. That's the front coming through, and you see what it does to temperatures. We're going to be about 10 degrees cooler in about 48 hours. As we take a look at future sky forecasts, this is how it pans out, I believe, this front dropping in from the north and giving us this rain chance. Not necessarily in the afternoon, more likely the end of day for the Metroplex, as we'll still be able to reach 100 degrees before the front arrives. And then as we get in the evening, we could have some thunderstorms around. They could drop some good rain, have some lightning, even some small hail, but we're not expecting severe weather, though the First Alert Weather Team will be watching this. We have the better chance of rain in the afternoon along the Red River, and then that better rain chance moves right over the Metroplex in the evening hours. And that's not just the only chance of rain in the seven day. We've got another chance as we get into the weekend. Yeah, they're small, but they're around and they do get better. But when we start talking about rain in August, that usually means cooler temperatures. And take a look at this. From August 1st to August 15th, the average high every day was over 100 degrees. For the next 10 days, we think that average high is going to be closer to 94 degrees. And for the first time this summer, the first time this summer, we see a 6 to 10 day and 8 to 14 day outlook by the Climate Prediction Center showing a good chance of below normal temperatures. And still some summer to get through, and it's looking a little better. As we can see, Triple digit highs today and tomorrow, so ready yourself for that heat, especially if you're out in football practice or in band practice this afternoon or tomorrow afternoon. Then watch the sky for these thunderstorms, especially as we close the day and get in the evening. And then it gets better temperature wise. Well, you notice those rain chances again by weekend. Look at that 50% chance of rain by Monday. Karen? You're my hero.